usually in an NFL draft, but not always, and I don't know if this year is that, um, that there is a, um, a storyline that, that took up tons of the oxygen pre-free agency, during free agency and post that dies down and then per, you know bursts back up. Is Russell Wilson that this year? You got one for me um, at all? Ian? Yeah, I mean, Russell, Russell Wilson, I think, in my humble opinion, I think we've probably talked enough about that this offseason. Uh, don't worry, though. Uh, if you like the Russell Wilson storyline this offseason, we can always do it again next offseason <laughs> when he actually might be traded. Right. Um, you know, the Deshaun Watson thing, I would not say, is over. We still have so much to sort out. His legal situation, we have a team that has not yet been willing to trade him, and he is still – privately said he doesn't plan to play for them. So something must happen there. I don't know what it's going to be, but something must happen. Um, I think that's going to be the one that we still need to figure out. The Russell Wilson stuff, I'll put a pin in that, and we'll talk about it all of next offseason. Don't worry. So, okay, so let's not look for a trade right there. And, and then Deshaun Watson, if, if his, what everyone in the media refers to as his situation, had not uh, arisen – you know, this would be the time where it, it, our first 10 minutes of our conversation would have been all about who might get Deshaun Watson and could the Jets trade number two overall and stuff like right. that for him. And, but that, that's just not getting handled and finished and to, to the point where we, we understand what Watson's standing with the league would be, let alone his team, let alone his community, let alone uh, the legal system. We have, we're, we're, I think we're a long time away from that. This just seems to be getting uglier and uglier and, and murkier yeah. and murkier without any sort of, um, uh, I, I, I guess, uh, culmination down the road. Ian, this sounds like this is going into the summer. Forget about the draft week. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know about all that because there's, I would not rule anything out with the Deshaun Watson situation at all. I, I would just, I wouldn't. I don't know what's going to happen, um, but I know these things can turn on a dime very, very quickly. So, you know, will it last? Like an actual, summer, hold on I mean, a second, Ian, like an actual dime? Is that what you're saying? Like, seriously, like, because that, you know, a, a settlement where, where this, if you will, goes away from the court system and from the, the headlines, that would mm-hmm. then lead to, well, what is the league going to investigate and what's the team going right? to do? Like that's where that would then head into. So is that what right. are, are you um, are you ref, um, you're, I, I, again? This is are you referring to that? That's something that's possible in the near future. I mean, w- where it stands right now is Deshaun Watson has not obviously has not wanted to settle because he hasn't settled. It's like when you know trades haven't happened because there's been no agreement. Like there's been no, you know, I haven't gotten any word that he would settle. Okay, um, a settlement would probably accelerate things and cause everyone to declare what they actually want to do. Like I've also, I would also say like, I still don't know what the Texans would or wouldn't do. They have made no, you know, they have not said at all that they would consider a trade. If there was a settlement, would they consider one? I don't, I don't know. It's just, I I don't want to say that anything at all is decided right now because there are literally seven things that need to happen before we know anything on the Watson situation. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.